Hey everyone, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with the video of the day. Um, I guess I'll play five minutes a day and do some game analysis. Um, one other thing I did was we have a light that we use when we make our videos here when I do the chess.com uh, pro chess league stuff. So we turned that on, which I've never done before. So hopefully the lighting's better or something. Um, tonight's our blitz tournament at seven o'clock and then tomorrow's our quads game in 60. And next weekend is our two-day tournament, the Winter Open, followed by the Super Bowl party. All right, let's uh, click five minute. I actually, I turned off challenges and I forgot, so let's turn those back on. Let's see, CC, profile. I was taught how to do this today by one of my students. And then click this thing, and then click this, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, always, there we go. All right. So now something, okay, now let's see who's challenging me. Yeah, this is the guy who wanted to challenge me. So, all right, um, this is Tree Bird, Tree Bird, Tree Beard, 1986. I graduated high school in 86, the truth hurts. And uh, let's see, what do I do? I got Perrier and I got Deer Park Sparkling Water. So I guess I'll finish this one and then I'll drink this one. Uh, D5, X Clam. E5. I haven't played C5 in a while. Um, let's play that. It's been a while since I played it. C3, that's not the most testing. Supposed to take on C5 or play C4. Knight F3 is okay. Although Nigel Short played C3 against me in a blitz game uh, about five years ago, six years ago. I can't remember what happened. All right, I'm, I have an insurmountable lead on the clock. So let me type in five minute only today. Challenge me if you dare. Okay. And then knight f3, so we pin that. And um, so forth and so on. Bishop e2. Yeah, so this is a good position for black because um, like d4 is weak and there's not any compensation for white. Well, I think I just went a pawn by taking everything and playing queen b6. So I guess I went a pawn. I mean, normally I would, you know, play bishop h5, but winning a pawn is winning a pawn. So that's what I'm going to do. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, h3 is a bit slow. Let's see, nobody's saying anything at the usual Rufuses and Doofuses. Tomorrow night is my um, match with my son, Spencer. If you go to YouTube, which you probably know how to do since you're there now, just type in Spencer Feingold. He has a page. He has over 100 videos. Um, he also gives chess lessons. He's about 2200 USCF. And at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific and specific, um, uh, what was I going to say? We're playing our match. We're going to play 3-2, and then we're going to play one minute, I think. Okay, so if I take on d4, that's exceedingly dangerous since I have no development. I could also play bishop b4, and I could play queen b6 and be scared. Um, don't see anything wrong with knight takes d4, so I'll probably do that. Although, he could castle, and then I'll get crushed. Uh, bishop b4. All right, let's play bishop b4. That gets me one move closer to castling. So I want to take on d2, and then d4 is hanging. I don't really see a defense to that. Got eight spectators only? Terrible. Are you guys working or something? Driving home from work? Terrible. Well, my son's on the line now, and he's not even watching. Rawr. Actually, he could be watching. Let's see. No, not watching. Okay, castles. That's probably the right move. Let's take this. I'm up a piece. Yay. I love time on the clock, too. Um, yeah, generally, I think I'll play more five minutes than anything else just because I can do game analysis and you guys complain slightly less. Slightly. Let's see. What's this guy say? Ready when you are. Okay, and we're playing. So there you go. I'm assuming my opponent was born in 1986, or that's his favorite rating. Or he doesn't remember the title of the book, 1984. Okay, Rook, eight, rook B1. I didn't think he would do that, uh, but it's probably a good move. Uh, I don't know. I resign. 
All right, let's take the A pawn. Got to take something. So I'm up a piece in two pawns, but my bishop's hanging and my B pawn's hanging and my queen's trapped. Sounds good. And it's going to be two knights against two bishops. Okay, that has to be correct. Uh, queen A6 looks terrible because of bishop E2. Uh, Long castle looks even more terrible. Let's see. It's probably playable. Knight G E7 is the move I'm considering. I can also take on D4. That looks a little crazy. Okay, let's play knight g e7. I don't think my queen's getting trapped. If it does, it does. What are you going to do? d4 is hanging. I can castle. I'm up two cast pawns. Whoa. And now I'm up one pass pawn. That's what I said. It was a typo. So now I could play queen a6, but I don't like that he'll play... Actually, I can't play queen b3. I'll play knight takes d4. So maybe I do like that. Uh, okay, I'll just castle. Castle queen side. Um... Don't see anything wrong with that. I have a nice 30 second time advantage. I'm up a pawn. Um, I can't really take on d4 because his rook's on my knight, but that's okay. His rook on f1 is not doing anything. Bishop on f3 is not doing anything. I'm on his bishop. I'm on his pawn. I have a passed a pawn. Um, I have 45 seconds or more. I have 580 rating points. I have parry and he probably doesn't. And when I run out of parry, I have another sparkling water. So. And like so, not like Wesley so, but hey, Wesley so won today, yay, as did Anand. Okay, bishop g5, um, threatening my knight, so I'll probably move it. The truth hurts, and then, I don't know, if I don't lose my queen, I'm doing well. I don't see how I lose my queen, so. Only nine spectators, wow, I'm less popular than I thought. And I'm a minute ahead on the clock and a pawn up, about to be two pawns up. And um, yeah, he doesn't really have anything for it as far as I can tell. Probably my queen's better than it is trapped. Queen's active. Check my email during the game. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to be able to play tomorrow. What? Somebody who entered our tournament tomorrow can't play. Horrible. This happened last week. He's like working or something. Oh, well, the truth hurts. All right, what else is going on? Wesley says, hi, thanks for the support. Magnus says, I hate you. Why don't you support me? Uh, okay. And while I did all that, no, my opponent didn't move. So, confused. Well, I have seven challenges in the wings. Okay, now I have 14 people watching me. That's better. Let's see. Any of them my son? Let's see. Nah, nah. My student and my son aren't watching. They're online. Rawr. Okay, what's going on? Did he resign yet? Oh, he moved. Queen C1. Um, you got me. All right, he took text by knight, so I'll move it. Now I'm up two pawns. I'd like to take this bishop and mess his pawns up. I can get a tempo on his queen by putting one of my rooks, or what am I drunk? On C8. Okay, he can't take my knight because I have knight E2 check, so that's not really threatened. I could play knight E2 check now. Um, I could play rook c8. I could try to promote my pawn. Seems like promoting my pawn's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. And maybe he'll blunder bishop takes knight, and I'll win his queen. Yay. Bishop takes knight's a strange move, though. Okay, queen c7. Again, there's no threat. So, make a queen. Yeah. <clears throat> it sounds silly, but when it promotes, it'll be less silly. <clears throat> bishop h5. He's threatening a pawn, which, of course, I could ignore, but why would I ignore it? Um, so I can play g6. Um, that's about all I can play, I guess. Okay. And again, my pawn's pretty strong. My rook's behind it. Bishop d1. All right. Let's keep going. Get him, Ma. Can't really attack my rook in a favorable, well, in a favorable way because my knight is on f5 is protecting everything. My knights are pretty good. Maybe you should play g4. Okay, that way he could try to get rid of my knight. Um, okay, he wants to play queen g7 mate or queen h8 mate. That seems extremely unlikely. So I guess we'll go here. It seems like trading queens is favorable and also I'm queening. So I got two ideas. Okay, he didn't want to trade queens. You laughed at me when I said I was going to queen, but uh, yeah, I'm going to queen. 
Hooray for me. And he has 10 seconds. Maybe I won't queen because his time will run out. Bishop g4 will take that. That's stopping my pawn from queening. And then he can stop stave off mate for a couple moves. Or he can let his flag fall. Nakamura style. Okay, so let's analyze. Um, uh, okay, c3. Not the most testing. Wants him to take on c5 still. And then after h3, yeah, it plays like me and just wins a pawn. Actually, it plays queen b6 here. I don't understand what's wrong with this. Well, it plays like we did. Okay, it just says I'm doing well. Knight takes d4, castles, but I played bishop b4. Castles, bishop there. Yeah, it plays like we did. And says I'm better. Okay. Bishop c3 is equal. I guess my queen's getting close to trapped. Okay, it likes bishop c3. It likes these moves. And it just says I'm up a pawn. And I'm just winning. And yeah. Okay, so pretty well played game uh, from my part, I guess. All right, let's see. Five minute, five minute, five minute, five minute. We'll play the highest rated. Oh, actually, it's that person. Okay, so play there. Oh, I missed all these crazy comments. You guys saw them. I guess I can watch them on the video. I was too busy looking at something else. All right, g3. Um, we'll play like Spassky, e5. Spassky's better than me. Play very classical style. Uh, okay. Okay. Knight c6, bishop b6, I guess, or d4. Well, let's play d4. I have a threat. Yay. Okay, develop our pieces. Castle. Maybe he won't see his bishops hanging. Anything's possible. Bishop c1. Anything is possible. I was right. It's funny, he's like a tempo up in a, in a modern Pierce because he's white, and then he loses all kinds of tempi. So I'm a tempo up. So it's like I'm white in some kind of Pierce defense position. And a bishop here, here, here. They're all good. All right, that goes the furthest. Yeah, white doesn't have very much space here. And my pieces are all quite nice. Let's see, rookie eight, I guess. Makes sense. Put my pieces in the middle. Okay, so I can take and play e4, and I will. Mess up his pawns a little, get my rook, rooks active in the center. He can't play knight d4 because my knight's on c6. So he's got a lot of issues here. And then he'll have a bad pawn structure if he trades on e4. And my pieces look at active. My knight on e4, bishop can go to f6. My rook on e8 gets an open file. If he trades queens, I have another good rook. And these pieces aren't very good. So I like taking an e4 so far. Seems reasonable. Knight h4. Okay, that seems to lose material because I can just take and then take and play bishop e2. Um, is there something better? I could play knight d5, threatening this and this. That might be better. Hmm. Mm, that might be better. Could also take on a3 and take on d3 and take on e2. Man, everything is good. I'm so confused. <laughs> I like everything. Um, everything tastes so good. Uh, what do I do? Everything wins. This terrible debacle I'm having. Um, all right, this move is in most interesting, I guess. Because when I take this, this is hanging, so he can't do that. And then this is really messing up his position. So, I don't know, I liked everything. This will be interesting for the engine to tell me what was the best, because everything was good. I could also have taken this and taken on a3. And I don't want to lose on time thinking about it. But it was a slow game, but it took, I would have taken a long time there.
16 spectators, good. Yeah, playing this slowly in a five minute game isn't good. I mean, I'm playing slowly because I parry. Eh? Queen b3, giving everything away. All right. Confusing me again because I don't know what to take. Take on h4, take on e2. Wow. Um, all right, I guess I'll take on h4 first because then my rook is active and his knight won't go to f5. Always avoid knife f5. And he might take on e4 instead of taking on h4, which will confuse me. Probably d e4 is the right move. Um, and then I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll play bishop e2, I'm not sure. Might just move my knight away. Knight b6, that stops queen b7. Could play queen b7 here, but that looks a little dangerous. So, yeah, he's taking a long time because it's a big decision. Okay, he took with a pawn. I mean, knight b6 is the safe move. Then he takes on h4, I take on e2, and he should be losing. Then h4 is hanging, his rook's attacked. His pawn structure's terrible. Could also take on e2 now. Uh, I'm piece up, so somehow if I can somehow do something. Maybe knight c3 is good. Yeah, I like knight c3 now that I think about it. If he takes it, I play bishop f6. And if he doesn't take it, I'll play knight e2 check. Eh, b7's hanging, but so what? I like getting rid of this pawn because my knight has more squares. So I have a lot of threats and I'm up a piece. So, yeah, and I have more time now, even though I'm talking nonstop and thinking about everything. But it seems like this is good for me. Well, it's making him take a long time, so that's definitely good. Okay, took on h4, I take on e2, and then I was going to play queen takes h4. I could also play knight c1. I could defend my b-pawn, which I'm not going to do. I could go here and try to try to come in here somehow and mate him. You know, I don't know. Got to be some kind of mate somewhere. Like knight here, queen takes, knight f3, queen d6, queen here. Eh, that's a little far-fetched. Uh, might work, though. <sighs> Queen h4 looks good. Knight b4 is good. That kills his queen. He can't take on b7. I don't really care about that, though. Um, oh, but he has knight b5 attacking my queen. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this crazy way. I think he'll take on b7, and I'm going to play here. And if he takes it, I take with the bishop and he's crushed. If he doesn't take it, I'm going to try to mate him. And also, if it doesn't work, then I can play knight takes h4 and win. So I actually like my crazy idea, getting my pieces near his king. It took me a long time, though, to, th to think about whether I liked it. Um, so my time situation is bad. But if I mate him, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, he doesn't, doesn't like me going to f3. Um, I can't fork because his knight's here. So I guess I'll take this. I don't see why not. And my pawn or two pawns? I'm up two pawns, and my pieces are all pretty good. My rook's opposite his queen. I'm all up in his grill. And if he moves his knight, I'll have knight c2. So it looks good. My rook can come out. Um, I could play c5. I could try to transfer my rook over here, but this is hanging right now. So... I could play knight f3, no, bishop f3, bishop f3, yeah, that's yeah, computer approved. I finally found a good move, and the threat is queen takes h3, checkmate, that's a good threat. And there's a 0% chance he'll see that, he'll play bishop takes d4 and I'll mate him. If he takes bishop takes, queen takes, yes, it doesn't matter if he sees it. All right, so I found one good move, and I will be totally shocked if he doesn't hang mate in one. I think he's going to play bishop takes d4 and I'll play mate. That's what I'm guessing will happen. He could also resign because I don't see what he can do about my threats. So, yeah, getting all my pieces near his king was a good idea. I deserve more sparkling water. You guys should donate because of Bishop F3. Yeah. Man, that game looked like I was a good player. The, the engine will prove me wrong, but it looked good. 
preparing for my son tomorrow. And my son's funny, he, in this video, he said he thinks he'll get five to 10%. I'm not sure that I'll win the match. He plays a lot more in Lee Chess than I do. What, you stopped mate? Oh my God, I even see King H2. The only moves to stop mate. Oh man, now I'm gonna lose. And when I say I'm gonna lose, I'm going to incredibly win. That's what I meant. It's gonna be the biggest debacle in the history of any sport. But I might lose. Also, Trump might be the best president ever. It might, might be. Yeah. Okay, so resigning is the best move for him, but he might overlook that. He did. He didn't see resigns. Um, taking the queen wins, not taking the queen wins. Let's take a queen. Let's just keep taking things. That's the surest way to win. And then I talked about this before. I said I was going to do that last. I lied. Rawr. Didn't see that coming, although I did. And if he doesn't lose on time this move, what is he going to do? This is a great, perfect time to lose on time. Maybe Rook G1 is forced. Rook E1. All right. Well, I said I was going to do this. I guess I should. And then I don't get back rank mated. And I have a lot of threats. That hangs his Rook. And so forth. And resigns. Very good. Good resigning. Okay, so I played pretty well that game, I think, until the engine says I didn't. All right, so I'm already slightly better, it says, which is ridiculous. Yeah, knight, knight b1 is a strange move. Doesn't like that. My game's not as good as the computer says it is, like, slightly better for black. Yeah, bishop c1's a weird move. I played a5 here to play rook a6, rook g6 later. You probably just didn't see it at home. h3, retreat. It says he's equal now. That seems like a stretch. Yep, it does take and play e4 like I did. Okay, cool. Knight h4 is not good. Yeah, this is where I thought every move won. Um, the computer took on e d3, then it played knight d5 like I did. I actually played the computer move here. Yeah, I thought about bishop a3 and taking on d3 and knight d5. So knight d5 is computer recommended. Um, knight b5 defends his c3 pawn, so that's reasonable. And this is where I couldn't decide whether to play this or this. And actually, the computer said both, and it said the move I played. Okay, knight c3. Yeah, I guess if I play computer moves, I'm going to beat somebody in a blitz game. Yeah, it's actually playing... Oh, knight d4, I didn't see. That's quite nice. He can't take my knight because of this. And it says I'm plus five. Wow. I'm only plus 3.7 here. Um, yep, and I played the best move again. And again. Man, I played the best move every... Bishop f3. Wow, I played great this game. Better than I thought. Um, I should donate to myself. Hold on a second. Donate. Dear Grandmaster Feingold, you're the best at what I don't know. Okay. And what did he do? King H2 is the best. I played rook e4. What? That's not the number one move. It's a pretty good move. Yeah. Okay. And he's totally lost. And then rook a6. Yay. Yes, I played really well this game. Maybe I will beat my son. Oh, it's possible. Okay. Yeah, that was a good game. All right. What are these crazy things that people are saying? If he loses, it's bad. Go Ben. Uh, no losing. Losing makes you a better player. Um, therefore, if you lose every game ever, you're the best player. Paul Morphy. Paul Morphy Kasparov. Uh, Ben's an old man. Uh, okay. That was good. good. I'm glad I read those comments. Um, let's see. Five minute, 2000. I just played that guy, right? So I shouldn't play him again. 2101. That's one minute. Uh, 2074. Ben checkmates. Well, I'm afraid to play him, but all right. Maybe I'll checkmate him. Then he'll be right. Okay. Um, good name. Let's play Sicilian. That way, if one of us checkmates the other one, we'll still be correct. Correct. Knight c3. I agree. Put it in f. Um... Let's see. What's the move I can play he doesn't know? I like to get out of theory quickly. I should play either e6 or g6, but, but he knows those. So 
What doesn't he know? All right, let's play a6. That way he'll think a little bit. He'll be like, what a6? Arr, I'm so confused. Just trying to get out a theory so he doesn't play like 20 moves in a row quickly. In chess, you can do almost anything if you're not hanging out all your pieces. Okay, a3 looks a little suspicious. All right, I don't think he knows these positions. His pawn's here, so I guess I could play g6. I like double fee and cuddling. I like playing, I like everything. I like black here. Hmm. Mm -mm. All right, let's double feed Cutto. Go, Ben. Agreed. Yeah, unfortunately, this guy's also Ben. Um, Bishop d2, that's a bit passive. All right, so my opening experiment worked out well with a6 and b5. And he should definitely play e5 here. But does he have the guts? The answer is fries. Then I'll, you know, hop around here. Maybe I can play for the Australia Kangaroos in the Pro Chess League because I hop around. Okay, castles. Yeah, this seems nice for black. And I caught up on time. Straight square for the bishop, d2. Okay, I can't play knight g4 anymore. g3 is weak, so I can try to hop in there. Um, I guess d6 makes sense. Protect e5 a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. Maybe I'll hop in here. Etc. Mainly etc. 16 spectators, that's okay. Don't forget my favorite website, atlchessclub.com slash donate. The more you donate, the more I get crushed or vice versa or something. Whichever is funnier. I mean, I gotta eat dinner before the tournament. I haven't eaten since like 10 a.m. No, I didn't eat at 10. Did I eat before my lesson at 10? No, my lesson was at, was at 12. I woke up at 10. So I ate about 11.25 and it's 5.39. Man, if I could do math, I would know that that's over six hours. Yes, yeah, so I should probably order food at some point. The tournament starts at seven. Okay, queen e1. He's gonna go to h4 and checkmate me. So I'll make a threat. My knight's pretty good in the center. And if he trades pieces, it's hard for him to mate me because he has very few pieces. Okay, so I guess I should pre-move this because in case he takes. And somehow, even though I'm talking and drinking sparkling water and thinking about my dinner order, I'm still up a minute on the clock. Yeah, now that his queen's on e1, c2 is not defended. So we got a counterattack and attack and so forth. And he has lots of places to go. d5 just loses a pawn and we attack a pawn. Yeah, his mating attack is pretty slow because he has no pieces near my king. And my king has a lot in front of it. Um, and I already have a threat. C3, I thought he'd play rook C1, keep everything closed. Let's see, should I take that or should I move my knight? Knight can come in and my bishop is good then. That seems reasonable. Um, he might mate me because my knight's not there, but too bad. Let's see, does that make sense? Take on c3 also. Hmm. All right, let's take this. I'll leave my knight here because there's a smaller chance I'll get mated if my knight's there. And he could take back anyway. They're all reasonable. Knight, bishop, or pawn. They all have their pluses and minuses. The bishop's good on this diagonal. The knight's terrible on d1. It's good on c3. And taking with the pawn gives him a big pawn center. So he could have done that too. Bishop takes. Okay. Um... I guess I want to advance over there, but I can't. So what do I do? I need an adult. D5, E5, move my knight. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. So he has to play E5, and my knight can swing this way, and I can play D4 and activate my bishop. <coughs> and he could play D4, but then his bishop's pretty bad. But he has to play E5. Okay, I could go here also. Then I want to go here, and if d4, my knight can go to c4. So I'm not sure what to do, because I want to play d4 also. Let's go here, since I want to play d4, and my queen would defend it. Okay, now um, I could play f5, or f6, or e6, or knight c7. Hmm, unclear. Let's play f5, because that blocks his f-pawn. And if he takes on Poussin, then I can take different ways. Probably take with a pawn, and I'll get the e-file. And his bishop is just terrible on c3. 
And we'll have to reroute our pieces because my bishop's bet on b7 now. If he doesn't take on Poisson, which he didn't, it's hard for him to attack. And my knight has the nice e6 square. So, yeah, the position's probably about equal. I might have some trick later where I can take on e5 and do some kind of d4. So I can play really solid with e6 so he doesn't like crash through. Or I can try to or I can try to let him crash through and play knight e6. Okay, he pinned my knight, but I don't care. Now d4 is weaker. So that was not a good move, I don't think. Wow, he traded. Wow. He must have really hated his bishop. Yeah, but now I have play on the queen side, so I don't like what he just did. Yeah, because now I can start attacking on the queen side. He doesn't have a bishop here to stop me. So I think that was not good. Um, let's see. Now what do I do? Uh, I guess e6 and bishop f8. Always play bishop f8. And then we'll try to play on the queen side. I'm also thinking about rook c4 and letting him take and taking with check. And then his d pawn's hanging. And I have the two bishops. And he played g4, it makes it uh, nicer for me to do that. So I guess I will. I'm threatening a pawn. And if he takes, I get all kinds of counterplay. I get a d pawn. I get a great bishop. I get three or two on the queen side. So it seems reasonable. Maybe he should play d5 here, which I didn't look at. And then if I take, he can get rid of my bishop, because my bishop's pretty good. Yeah, probably he should play d5. Okay, he did not. So I have a pawn for the exchange plus the two bishops and his king is exposed. So I don't know, unclear. Computer probably likes white because it likes up material, doesn't see my attack. But in a blitz game, take black all day. It's very hard to play white here with your king exposed like this. So yeah, I don't like this for him, in a, especially in a blitz game. Uh, okay, this doesn't work or it does work. Yeah, rook f2, I take his rook. Queen f2, I can play rook d8. I just don't want to play rig d1. All right, let's do it. Could play king g1, which I didn't see. And then this is decisive, probably. That probably just wins. That's hard to see, too, if you don't think about bishop f8 all the time like I do. Okay, then rig d8. And he should play rig d1. Um, but if he doesn't, that's good for me. And rig d1, he's probably better. But I'll probably just trade everything and go into this end game with my queenside majority and two bishops and hope that his rook doesn't infiltrate and crush me. Let's see, do I have another move that's not rook takes rook? I don't think so. Okay. And I guess g5 makes sense. Should I take first? Yeah, let's take first. And then I can activate my bishops. Okay, now I have two pawns for the exchange. So I definitely prefer black here. Um, let's see, I should queen on the queen side somehow. Let's activate our bishop. Why not? Okay, that's pretty active. Oh, I can attack his rook, and he loses on time. So this position has to be much better for black, I would say, winning. It's probably like the first position of the game I was winning. Um, but yeah, his time situation was uh, untenable. Okay, so I was going to say I was worse most of the game because I played a little suspicious. Okay, a6, it doesn't mind. Just says it's equal. And bishop d2 is a weird move. Wants him to play e5, of course. Wants me to stop e5. Says I'm better here. I agree. Okay, knight a2. That's a strange move. Yeah, I thought he'd play rook c1 also. Yeah, I couldn't decide between taking on c3 and knight d7. Wants me to play knight d7. Okay, now it says he's better. Ah, oh, plus one. Ah, oh, this looks like equal to me. Okay, and he play, should play knight f2. Not sure why he's plus one. This is like an equal position. Okay, king h1, knight c7. Yeah, now his computer's not going to like bishop a3, bishop takes e7. That wasn't a good plan. I um, really likes white here, so what do I know? And yeah, now it says it's equal. Um, e6, g4, rook c4, r. Okay, it thinks that exchange sacrifice is interesting. 
Ah, it doesn't play d5. I thought d5 was the right move. Let's see what happens on d5. Ah, oh, I take with a pawn. I didn't even think about taking with a pawn. Oh, then he's just dead. Okay. That was stupid. I only thought about bishop takes for some reason. Okay, that was dumb. Um, and I took, and it says, yeah, he should play rook d1 here. That's the only move that makes any sense. Yeah, now, once we play g5, which I played later in the game, but didn't see it here. And then it wants me to trade queens and take on g4 and play g5, which I did. Then I have the rooks on, so I'm not, I'm not, so, not so bad. Okay, what I did was okay, I think. It doesn't like it, but... And then I took and played g5. Yeah, now f5 is a terrible move that he played, but he had no time on his clock. King g3, that's a good move. Then if I take on g5, he takes with the king and defends his e5 pawn. Yeah. Okay. So after this, I'm better. That's a really bad move. King f7 is right. Taking on e6 is wrong because it activates my king. Bishop e4 was good. Bishop d3 was good. And it's probably lost here. Irrespective of the computer evaluation of plus one, practically this is just winning for white or for black, for somebody. That's a funny variation. I'm like, why doesn't this lose immediately? Because he plays rig d1 and he can pin my bishop. That's funny. Yeah, and he's still losing here, but yeah. All right, so the only good position of the game was the final position. All right, how much time have we taken? 36 minutes. Oh, I don't want to play anymore. Wah. Uh, maybe I'll play a one-minute game. Maybe. Nobody's challenging me a one-minute because I told them to challenge me a five-minute. Um, okay, Dr. Dookie 2004. Casual. Man, as soon as I saw the word casual, don't tell my wife. Okay, uh, 1604. So I'm risking 30 rating points and I get zero if I win. All right. JP, JP. Where's my, I've, I have, I have Perrier to the right of him, Perrier to the left of me, shattered and sundered, stormed at with Deer Park and Perrier, I that had played so well, shattered and sundered. It's the charge of the sparkling water. All right, we're going to play like Capablanca. Queen a5. Yeah, bishop d3 is not played anymore because he doesn't want to trade white square bishops. And he doesn't want to trade queens either. But if he doesn't trade queens, he can't castle. So black's already better. The structure's better. And, you know, white has a nice attack, but obviously there's no attack if there's no pieces on the board. So he's just positionally worse here. Yeah, it's close to strategically losing already. Computer's going to say equal, but it's just terrible for white. Computer's probably not going to say equal because it's so bad for white. White just can't do anything. Yeah, just a bad position. Ooh, B4. Oh, that's weak pawn over here. Weak pawn alert. Um, all right, I could take. He plays rook B1. That's got to be good. Yeah. yeah, B4 is a tactical error and positional error. Oh, that guy's pretty weak. Uh, knight takes or bishop takes. They both win. I guess bishop takes is better. I'm so confused. I'm analyzing like it's a like it's a five minute game, even though it's a one minute game. Okay, he took. I'll take with the knights, and I'll start pushing my queenside pawns, and I'll try not to lose on time. Okay, that was not a good move. Just blundered a knight. Um, let's trade rooks. I said I'm going to trade rooks. Rawr. He just won't let me trade rooks. I can't believe it. Oh, that's not really a threat, but he'll probably take it. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Well, I like queening pawns. Yeah, queen and knight's a good combination, they say. And he resigned? Yeah. All right, that was just sort of for fun. I'm not... Uh, I don't want to play one minute, but um, all right. So that was a reasonable video because I didn't lose all my games. And um, remember to tomorrow, uh, I won't make this kind of video because I'm going to be playing my son at five o'clock central um, and he'll be live streaming it. You can go to his Twitch channel, Spencer Feingold um, and watch it there. I think it's, I think his name is, it's not Spencer Feingold on Twitch. It's very similar to Spencer Feingold. He might've added or subtracted some letters. I found it somehow. Um, if you go to his YouTube page, which is Spencer Feingold, I'm sure he has a link to the, to the Twitch um, live stream. All right, and I'll make, I'll make a video of me playing my son, and it'll be up probably about 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, something like that. All right, 
Half point buy and full point buy. Don't forget to donate. Rawr. I made fun of Trump already, right? Yeah. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.